Hey man, hi. Chapter 4, Trigonometry, Graphs and Equations, Mixed Exercise 4J at the end, which is question 6, which is what's the exact value of this in its simplest form? So it means if there's two bits, we want to put them together. Well, first of all, I need a diagram. Where are these? I'll put one down for this one first of all. So I've got 210 degrees. Where is 210 degrees? That's going to take me beyond 180 to here, leaving me 30 degrees. All sine, tan, cos. And 30 degrees is fine, that's 30 degrees. So they're both 30. The other thing is, if you see cos squared something, then what that means is it's the square after you've worked out the cosine. It's just short for this. You start with x, you get the cos of it. Once you've done that, then you square it. So I think I'll emphasise that when I write this. So for this one, 210 took me into this third quadrant where all the tangent's positive, so the cosine's negative. So it's the same as negative cos 30 that's going to be squared. And that's just sine 30, because that already was acute, that's going to be squared. And if you don't remember, <coughs> or don't trust remembering all those different little exact values, just quickly reconstruct your 30-60 triangle. It takes no time. That's the one that comes from 1, 2, and then root 3 for the middle one. So the cos of 30 is root 3 upon 2. So I've got negative root 3 upon 2 to square. The sine, the side without the angle, is 1 upon 2 squared. And then square a negative is positive. Root 3 squared goes back to 3. 2 squared is 4. A half squared is a quarter. So it's three quarters minus a quarter. That'll be two quarters. And two quarters, simplified, comes to a half. So the answer to that would be a half. B. Right. problem with this one is they're in radians. So you can either be brave and do it all in radians, or you could change it into degrees and do it all in degrees, because in the end it's just the exact value. Maybe I'll do it both ways. Well, pi upon three, what's pi upon three in pounds, shillings and pence? Well, divide by radians to knock out the radians, multiply by the degrees, that's going to be 60. So that's sine 60, that's fine. That's an acute value. 5 pi upon 4. Divide by the pi to knock out the radians, multiply by that part. 4 to that's 45, so that's 25, 225. Well, that's no use. So the first part's going to be, I'm going to have to change these to their acute value equivalents. So there's two ways of doing it. If I was sticking in radians, then I would think, right, halfway around, since all the way around is 2 pi radians, halfway around would be pi radians, and if I'm talking about quarters, a whole radian would be 4 quarters. So if I've got 5 quarters, that means it's one more quarter beyond it. So that would take me here, and there'd be an extra pi upon 4. So this would be sine pi upon 3, leaving it, and sine pi upon 4. In degrees, I would just say, well, that's 60. And if that was 225, then if that's 180, that's going to be 45 degrees beyond it. So that's sine 45. And what I should have done, and I was a bit hasty there, all sine tan cos, it's in a place where the sine is negative. So that's going to be a negative part. I could just put the negative at the front, which I'd sort of not put it here. So it's negative. I'll just do that to begin with. There. Now the next part is going to be, well I've got 60s and 45s, but you could recognise that as well. So either you remember them, or you just remember the triangles. Even though it's in radian, I'll just put the 60. The 60 is the 1, 2, root 3. So sine of 60 is going to be the opposite, root 3 upon 2. So it's root 3 upon 2, either way around. Either just thinking in degrees or thinking equivalently, I will pi upon 3 is 60. 45 comes from the half square, the 1, 1, so that's root 2. So that means that's going to be negative 1 upon root 2. Same here, negative 1 upon root 2. I don't know why I'm doing it twice now, because it's the same thing. So finally, it's going to be negative root 3 upon 2 root 2, which has got roots in both parts. It probably do as an answer. Or you could rationalise the denominator, multiply the top and the bottom by root 2. So I'll have root 6 on top, and that'll become 2, 2, 2, so 4, if you will. There. C. Well, there's that sine squared again. Remember what that means is 1 minus 2 times the sine of 300 squared. Right, 300. Where's 300? So you rattle around to reach 300, so that's going to stop short by 60 degrees. 
all sine tan cos. So 300 puts you into the fourth quadrant. In the fourth quadrant, well, the cosine's positive, so you've got negative of the sine of whatever was left, the acute angle to the horizontal, to the x-axis, 60. Sine of 60, same as before, you remember your triangle. It's easier to do that, so I've got 1, 2, root 3. The sine of 60 is the one without the angle, root 3 upon 2. 1 minus 2 times negative root 3 upon 2 squared. Squaring the bit first, root 3 squared goes back to 3, negative becomes positive, 2 squared is 4, so it's times 3 quarters. The 2 and the 4 cancel to make a 2. 1 minus 3 upon 2, 1 is equivalent to 2 upon 2, so 2 take away 3, negative 1 upon 2. Answer to that, negative a half. Question 6.